Here we are again with Rent a Girlfriend Season 2 Episode 4 and yeah, last episode Mommy appeared at Kazuya's apartment and she looked inside because the door was unlocked because Kazuya was hiding with Shizuru and she saw the handbag of Shizuru's um, and yeah, now she confrontates Kazuya and we will see what she has to say. But yeah, if you like what you see or if you want to support me, leave a like, subscribe or a comment, I would really appreciate it and it would really help me. But yeah, let's get to the episode. Oh, here we go. <laughs> the confrontation. Boing! What's she gonna say? Oh, I'm so excited what she's gonna say. Is it? Oh, it is. Oh. Is she pretending that that she thinks that he doesn't know that Shizuru is a rented girlfriend? Okay. Oh, she's plotting something. <laughs> is this serious? Oh. Oh. I mean, yes it is, kinda. That's why he started with it. Because she broke up with him. I don't know what is going on in her head. I don't know what her plan is. <laughs> yeah. The real reason is kind of pathetic. <laughs> the way he acts. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, yes, yes. You're pure, but you're not an idiot. I guess people beg to differ, <laughs> but that's exactly what you, what you want to do. She is like aggressive in a positive way. She tries to trash talk people while trying to be nice or pretending pretending to be nice. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> she sees right through him. I mean, he isn't deceiving you. It's you're not in a relationship anymore, so it's not. Your concern. Yeah, that's why she maybe didn't talk about it. Why she didn't mention it. Oh, is she trying some stuff with him? She's so caring. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> oh, what? Can she cook? Oh, she tries to make one of those weird dishes that is like super vitalizing or some shit. <laughs> so that no one interrupts us. Yeah, I mean... It could have helped yesterday with uh, Mami-chan. I wonder if she can cook. <laughs> I start to doubt it. And she thought about everything. Lava beer? <laughs> oh. Oh. She puts it in the... <laughs> How resourceful. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she puts a lot of effort in it to be a good girlfriend, because she really likes him. This is such a bad situation, because she's actually in love with him, but he's like, not really. It's not that he dislikes her, but he's also not completely in love with her. It's so bad for her. Oh, she, she can cook. <laughs> of course, that's what he looks the benefits of an actual girlfriend. <laughs> you could have it if you just forget about Shizuru and take Ruka. But that's not what he actually wants. He talks. She talks with her mom. Staying over. Oh my god. I didn't catch it because the text went so fast. I mean, I can't blame her that she wants to do uh, that. She wants to do that, and it's raining and no one has a umbrella. I guess she has to stay. 
And she's wet. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I won. Now you have no chance but to keep me here. Oh, damn. Ooh. You'd be happy. <laughs> Why? The t shirt covers everything. It's fine. <laughs> everything has stopped working. Like, no public transits and anything. It's raining. Has he no umbrella? <laughs> oh, I feel kind of bad for her. I think she wouldn't really think much about it. <laughs> oh! God damn it, bro! Calm down, Kazuya. <laughs> Thinking about the positives. Like every small step counts <laughs> in her plan to becoming his girlfriend. I mean, yeah, what? You don't know what she might do when he falls asleep. <laughs> Rub one out when she's pretty much in the same room? That's bold. Oh, did he do it? Oh, he did it in the, in the shower. Okay. Makes sense. <laughs> so she does TikTok stuff? I guess it's TikTok. I mean, this is like a really tough, tough spot, right? She's pretty much like an ideal girlfriend type, but but he's more interested in Shizuru. He's like in this lucky. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> she planned. She planned. Oh my god! Don't fall asleep, Kazuya. Don't fall asleep. But hey, at least she had protection, right? In case you want, not me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> this is crazy, bro. Oh, he's exploding. He's exploding. Oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> he can't sleep yet. Yeah, don't fall asleep, bro. Don't fall asleep. You don't know what she would do. She's just planning. True. True. Uh oh. Is she attacking him from behind in the night? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, this looks so good. The art style of this anime is so good in those situations. Holy shit, bro. Oh boy. <laughs> do it. You can do it. Just go for it. No, you can't. Be strong, Kazuya. You love Shizuru. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yes, indeed. It's the case from Shizuru, right? Yes. And now he stays strong. Gambare! I can't remember it was last season. Yeah, she's more like childish, I would say. More cute than alluring. Oh, that's so bad. Feel so bad for her.
Yeah, he can't take it either that she's bash that she's talking herself down. He wants the real thing. Yeah, he's in this tough position. <laughs> oh, my instincts will take over. <laughs> Uh, I feel so bad for her. Virginity defended. <laughs> it made her happy at least, right? Hearing it from hearing it from him, in her face directly, and he couldn't sleep one second. <laughs> <laughs> She's not giving up. Oh, she took it positive. She's like. There is still a chance. So you're telling me there's a chance. God damn! <laughs> uh. Oh my god, she goes all the way <laughs> to make Shizuru yet. Oh my god, she goes all the way. <laughs> okay. Maybe she's not at home. Who knows? Or maybe she's sleeping, but I think you probably... Oh, it turns. Oh, she wanted to take out the trash and she heard it and she gets a bit jealous, I guess. Oh, oh she's like, what? She was here the whole night? What's going on? <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, this was episode four and my goodness, there's so much stuff going on. Um, First of all, we have Mami who confrontates... Kazuya about Shizuru being a rented girlfriend and not about the bag because she isn't certain of it if it's Shizuru's or not so she didn't want to mention it but yeah she badmouths Shizuru for being like hey she's just a rented girlfriend you shouldn't do that you should get a real girlfriend because it's your college years and once once you're in the real world after college then it's over play then playtime is over so she, she tries to get some affection from him by trying to be nice to him again and grabbing his hands to get more affection from him, right? Because she knows how Kazuya ticks. And she does it fully intentionally by trying to trash talk Shizuru um, in a positive, aggressive way, basically. And after she left, she's like, yeah, what a liar. She saw right through him that he's just lying. And then she, I guess she wants to involve Kiba in his plan which she saw on, in the hallway. I guess it might be something like, Hey, Kibe, yeah, you heard about Kazuya? I've, I've, he has a rented girlfriend. I've, that's, so, that's not good, right? So maybe you should talk to him or maybe she just tries to like point him in that direction that Kibe confrontates him and is like, Dude, what are you doing? Why do you have a rented girlfriend or something? So that he, Kibe goes against Kazuya a bit. And then we have this whole thing with Ruka. Man, I have to say I'm feeling so bad for her, right? Because... Like I said in the last episodes, we know she will get heartbroken because ultimately Kazuya wants Shizuru, but Ruka is really in love with Kazuya and tries to be the best girlfriend and everything and plans everything like staying the night, having rubbers and all that shit. <laughs> and you don't know what she what she plans exactly, but she has like everything planned out and tries to get like closer and closer to him by staying the night, having rubbers ready if he wants to and all that stuff. At least, I mean, she thought about protection right and yeah Kazuya is just like really conflicted because like he said he, is, he never was popular with girls and now he has like Shizuru that he is in love with that he has around her and um, which also is right she's also interested in him gets gets jealous after she heard that uh, Ruka was the whole night at Kazuya's place and all that stuff and then he has like um Ruka, who is in love with him, which he isn't that much in love with because he's more focused on Shizuru. And then you have like this whole thing that Mami might also be maybe in, in the future gets more interested in him and wants him back. Maybe we don't know yet because right now it seems like she's more trying to go against him, trying to screw a screw with him and like dragging him down. Um, but we will see. And so it's just uh, you have this whole thing with ruka going on that she's just like so in love with him and trying to be the best girlfriend and everything and he's just in this conflicted position where he wants shizuru 
But he also sees that Ruka is a really good girl and that he should be lucky to have her already, right? That he could have her if he wants to, if he just committed to her. Um, but that's not really what he wants. And it's it's really tough because she Ruka wants to get closer to him and talks with him. And just like, dude, she's at this point where she's already like, I know that I'm just a nuisance and all that stuff where she down talks herself because she knows that uh, Kazuya is not really completely interested in her right that she that he is interested in shizuru but she still tries her best to get closer to him and win him over and at that point where she talked about him where, where she talked where she told him all that stuff he's like he couldn't take it anymore because he knows that she's a good girl that she is perfect basically and that he is lucky that she even likes him and he just bursts out again it's like no you're wrong you're not a nuisance i like you you're cute you have charm and everything and even those small things where he's like it's not really where he said to her like it's not really love in that way but you have charm you are cute and everything she just takes it as like a positive where she takes it as a win that he says you are not a nuisance and she takes that already as a win and sees it as like progression and it's still like i still feel so bad for her because like i said we know where it's going and she is so in love with him and she, it's like the first person she ever was in love with so it's just a really rough position but yeah i can't wait for the next episode and i'm very excited where everything is going <laughs> but yeah if you like what you saw or if you want to support me leave a like subscribe or a comment i would really appreciate it it would really help me and i would say till next time bye bye